Tween Seen June, Cactus Rocks. Hi tweens! In today's craft, we are going to be painting some rocks to look like cactus. They'll, look, uh, they'll end up looking a little like that. Very cute. In your kit, you should have some, a large green paint, some small light green and dark green paints, your big brush, foam brush, a little brush, yours might be blue or silver, a couple of rocks of two different sizes, and about four googly eyes. You'll also need some glue to complete this craft. You'll also find a pot, a little mini pot. You might want to get a paper towel to put in the bottom of your pot to elevate your rocks. We'll get to that later. To start with, you're going to protect your surface using a paper plate, paper towel, newspaper, magazine, something your parents don't care about. We're going to begin by painting our rocks with the medium green color that's in your large paint container. You should have enough to do both sides of both rocks and even some touch-up if it's um, if you don't like the streaky look. Give them both a nice thick coat of paint. Honestly, the hardest part about this craft is waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> Try not to get it on your fingers. It is acrylic, but it will wash off your fingers. It will not wash off clothes. So I just do one side at a time. You can go over and touch up any missed spots later after the first coat has dried if you need to. When you're done with this, make sure to clean your brush really well. And you're going to coat as much as you can without um, doing the back side because you don't want it to stick to your plate. It will just peel the paint right off. So clean your brush. Allow your paint to completely dry on the one side before you paint the other. And make sure you cover your paint container back up so it doesn't dry out. All right, once your paint is completely dry, you can flip your rocks over and do the other side. I had already gone ahead and repainted the other side of my little rock so that I could show you in this video the next step without having to wait. So I'm giving this one a nice coat. Of the big container of green paint. Alright, so I already painted this side. There's a little touch-up I'll need to do on the sides, but I can take care of that, no problem. And I'm going to start my decorative painting now with my little brush. Now there's all kinds of designs you can do. You can do cross uh, X marks like that, one light, one dark on each one if you want to, or you can combine them. I'm going to do little um, upside down V's on this one. It's also called a chevron. I'm going to start with my dark paint. And I'm just going to do a few little upside down V's. If 
You can do both sides of your cactus if you want to, but you have to let your paint dry, just as you did for the bottom layer. This design gives it um, the impression of the prickly shape of a cactus, the little thorns. All right, one more. There we go. Now, I like the way that looks, but it's kind of dark, so I'm going to brighten it up a little bit with some of the lighter paint by making tinier um, chevrons underneath. I'm going to clean my brush, making sure I get all the darker paint off of it. And then I'm just going to go underneath each of the dark marks with a little light one. I've seen lots of neat designs. You can do squiggly lines, you can do X's, you can do circles, but this is my favorite uh, of the styles that I've seen. I'm gonna clean my brush really well, allow my paint to dry completely, and then once that's dry, my big rock's almost dry, I'll have to wait on that one, but my little rock is dry. Now, if you have some glue left over from the previous craft, you can use that. Otherwise, you can use any household glue. But um, if you're using the super glue, be careful. You don't get it on your skin. You just need a dab, and then you can place your googly eye on there. Another little dab. For your second eye and you're all set. Once your glue and your paint has dried, you can place it in your mini pot. So you can see this is the one I did previously. I put a paper towel in the bottom of my pot, otherwise it kind of sinks too low in, to be seen. And then I place my big rock in the back, my little guy in front, and I have my decorative cute cactus rocks that I don't need to water. That's it for now. Bye tweens.